All right, we are back again, and uh, we've moved on from shapes and zooming and centering and that kind of stuff in the last section, and we're going to move into pop-ups and icons. I may end up splitting this into a couple videos, particularly because pop-ups get a little bit uh, crazy in just how much you can do, and same with icons. It's a little bit confusing, but I figure we should take it on right away since it's absolutely what everybody wants to do with their map is have custom pop-ups, custom icons, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to have to make sure we create them properly. There are a couple different ways to create pop-ups in Leaflet. Uh, they pretty much all are just fine, but uh, just so just so we're, we're all on the same page making pop-ups one way. Um, you can obviously fill them with all kinds of custom content, and a lot of that is going to come from your data. Uh, we're going to move more and more into that as we move into advanced topics, although at this point we're pretty much just going to fill them with string data. Um, but y you'll get the idea as we move along. Uh, again, content from marker, that can be uh, aside from just the pure string entered content. And then we're going to look on custom styling, and that goes for the pop-ups um, and the icons themselves. And again, pop-ups and icons, very dynamic aspects of maps. Uh, they're very user-oriented user aspects of maps, and so that's what we're going to focus a lot on here. So let's come back to our map here, and uh, we have our shapes. And, you know, I'm just going to, they have pop-ups attached to them here, this bind pop-up. So in Leaflet, that's one way to make a pop-up, is you just attach a little bind pop-up call. When you create a shape, you just stick a bind pop-up on the end of it with some information in it. And uh, and there it is. It will show up. No problem. So that's one way to do it, and we are going to sometimes do that. You'll find yourself uh, doing that cause it's very easy, uh, but a lot of time we may not do them quite that way. So let's delete everything here, and we're just going to start from scratch, and we're going to add a point instead of marker. So here's UI layers. Again, I'm back in the documentation for Leaflet. and just going here, and here's a marker. So there's a usage example. I just copy that. Again, I'm going to take my coordinates at the center of my map so that I make sure the marker is at the right place. And just after, there is this add to map. Now, I need to make sure that this add to is actually the same as the variable name that I gave my original map. And, you know, I don't like the name my map. Uh, for me, I, I'm really used to using just map as the variable. Um, actually that. So I just made sure it's referring properly to adding it to the right map. Otherwise, you'll get just an error of, like, an undefined. It's trying to, you know, the method doesn't exist or something like that. So I put that in. I put my coordinate, made sure the coordinate was in the right order, and saved. And here is my pop-up. And it just sits there. That's the default pop-up from Leaflet. Looks pretty good, honestly. Um, you know, it obviously looks pretty standard since you've probably seen this kind of thing around before. Uh, but it works. So from here, why don't we try a little bit of options around... Actually, why don't we just try bind pop-up first. So bind pop-up. Bind pop-up. And then we put some high text. Boom. And we saw before there was also an open pop-up method, which will open it on load of your map. And there it is, open on load. I don't really want that. That's not my favorite thing. So I'll just leave it as that. So there we go. We have our basic pop-up and our basic marker. So first, let's do a little bit of marker customization. So a lot of times people want a custom icon, and there is so much opportunity to do so many different types of custom icons. Um, you can use things called SVGs, vector graphics, or you can use images. Uh, you can use a lot of different uh, things to make your markers. You can even just use circles rather than using points like this. Uh, we're going to move more into some SVG related stuff a little later on, uh, but for now we're going to work at like basically using um, images. So that that actually may be an SVG file, but um, we're going to load it. We're going to be loading images like directly in this case, directly as our marker icon. So when it comes to marker icons for maps, there is a lot of free sources for that. There's uh, some of these ones at this flat icon place. A lot of these you have to give attribution when you're making them. For like, you know, if I download one of these, it wants to make sure that I uh, credit the author. So, you know, in this case, I don't really mind, but some of your projects you may, you may not want to. So I've downloaded this. It's actually an SVG file, which is great. Um, there's also some sites like this, uh, Map Icons, and this is specifically for Google Maps. I quite like these. These are very pretty. 
Uh, they're a little more complicated to implement just because uh, it's, it's a little bit of custom code. It only works for Google Maps API. Uh, but you can, you know, you can take a look at this. Uh, I just saw briefly there it says it may be deprecated as a project, but, you know, look around. There's also some more things like this um, noun project. I believe they have a paid service for uh, thousands and thousands of different icons. And one of the classics is map icons. You have probably seen these around. Uh, they are free. You can use these however you want, and they're just PNGs. So I'm just gonna <coughs> I'm just gonna grab one of these. I'm gonna grab the tree, download it, and I'm gonna place it. Where are we? We are over at uh, this folder. There's our index.html. I'm gonna place that tree PNG there, and I'm also gonna put the map marker SVG in there. Just a couple different ones so that uh, we can get a handle on, on loading in icons. Now let's head back to Leaflet and we're going to go to Tutorials again. And down a little ways we get markers with custom icons. And these are fairly complex ones. Let's just look at this for a second. You can see there's actually shadows as well as the Leaflet icon itself. And they come in multiple colors. Um, and you can see again we can stand, get this whole example standalone and uh, look right at the code that's going on if we want, but let's uh, let's go back and look at how they walk us through. So we're not going to do shadow here. That's one thing that's going to be different. So here we are creating an icon. Marker icons are defined by l.icon objects. So instead of having, for instance, an l.marker, we're going to have an l.icon. And they have a bunch of options here. And we can see here that when we're giving that icon to a marker, it's just an option. So that's pretty straightforward. Why don't we say I'm going to make two markers I'm going to test each of the icons. And I'm going to give this one a slightly different uh, geographic reference. Okay. And then we know it's going to be something like this icon, let's say green icon. And then I'm going to have the other icon be a black icon. And they're slightly different, as you recall from us loading them in mapmarker.svg and tree.png. So I'm going to copy this, and we're going to make our green icon first, since it's already named that. And we're not going to do any of the shadow stuff, so let's get rid of every line that has to do with the shadow. So here we are. We have the icon URL, the size, the anchor, and the pop-up anchor. These are all fairly important things for you to know. So first of all, the URL in this case is just going to be tree.png. It's right in the same folder. So that's fine. Now for the icon size, we actually have to find the size of that marker. So if we go tree PNG, we can see 32 by 37. Okay, so let's make this 32 by 37. So it's X and Y. And uh, let's just load that, first of all. All right, so we don't get anything. So what's the error? Black icon is not defined. Yes, it's trying to load this other one that we did, but we didn't actually define it. So okay, whatever. So here we go. It loaded over there, my coordinates a little far away. But you can see it's there, the pop-up works, and uh, it's kind of weird as it moves, it seems to actually move location. You know, it's on the land here and then it's in the water. So that's obviously a problem, and that's a problem I see very often when people are first doing their mapping. And what that is, is we're not setting the icon anchor to the right place, because the anchor of the icon is what decides exactly what's on the ge geographical point um, where that ge where that marker belongs to geographically. So this is a little bit confusing, but it's just something that um, you have to get used to thinking in. So for the icon anchor, it's it's counting kind of like down and over, or over, no, it's like over and down from the top left point. So what I mean here is that we're going to be going over about half, and we're going to go down to full 37. And let's just click, let's just try that. So where is our anchor? So you can see here now it's not moving, okay? So it's still in that, it's in that one place in the water. Okay, so what we did is we went over 16, over 16, because the whole icon is 32 pixels wide. We went over 16, and then down 37 to reach the bottom, the middle bottom, right? That's typically where a lot of icons go, middle bottom. Now when we open our pop-up, a pop-up is in this weird place that doesn't make any sense, and that's because we need to fix our pop-up anchor. And this is again tricky because it's not defined the same way as the icon anchor. It's not from this 
point we go over and down. Instead, it's defined from the icon anchor. Okay, So from the icon anchor, which is right here at the bottom of the marker, we don't want to go right or left at all. We want to go straight back up, and let's say we want to put the icon near the top, like right in the, in the um, top of the crown of the tree. So if I go that, and then I'm going to go minus 30, because the icon is 30 pixels, 37 pixels high. So minus 30 is, you know, most of the way up there. So let's look over and now when we click it, it sits at the right place that I wanted. It looks a little funny. Um, and the icon is, you know, correctly shaped and sized. Okay, so that's great. So that's one icon. You can see how it involved a little bit of messing around to pass that right. So let's do the black icon now. change that. We need to change which um, image it's pointing to. So in this case, it's SVGs. Okay, and let's just try it and see what happens. So it looks like it just loads right at the right size. And uh, is it moving? It doesn't seem to be moving. It seems like it's kind of in the right place. So did we just get lucky? Is that just awesome or what? Part of this is SVGs because SVGs will readapt themselves to whatever size you give them. That's one of the, the beauties of using SVG. If we go to this, you can see its dimensions are actually blank. And that's because that's the nature of, of what's called a vector graphic. It scales to match the size you want to give it. So in this case, we could just, you know, we could probably just drop a lot of these. Let's see what happens if we do that. I bet you maybe it'll just break. So it's huge. Now it's just in constantly the same size, and it's like kind of weird. So clearly you have to give it a size, otherwise it doesn't know what to do. Uh, but you could give it a different size. So let's say we wanted to make it uh, a little larger. Let's go double this, the height. So that should be 64, and that'll be 70. Uh, 74, is that 62. Yeah, okay. And uh, then we'll make this 32, and the height, again, will be 74, and then we'll make this minus 70. So this should be a little bigger now. There we go. Big pop-up. Again, uh, that's a little bit of a weird place. Maybe we don't want it to quite be there. Let's make it 50. There we go. Right in the middle. That looks nice. So that's some nice uh, marker styling. So that's that's basically uh, your first lesson in custom icons. Uh, super crucial. And we're going to move on to pop-ups now.